Hello, good evening, everyone. I'm sorry for making you wait. I was fixing some troubles here. How are you doing? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, okay. how are you? Fine, fine, miss. Did you, did you feel the earthquake? Hello? No, because I was on the, on the coaster. The oh, oh, you were on the street, of course. So you didn't feel the earthquake. Yeah, it was strong. It was really strong. It, it says that is here in Usulutan's shore. Like it is in El Espino, I think, right? It was the yes. epicentro. So the it was is, it, the news. Uh, the news, <laughs> news is um, epicentro in Usulutan. Yes, it it's here, and I believe it was a six point seven earthquake, right? Rich Richter, Scala Richter. And then it was long. It was a long. It was a long earthquake. So yeah, it was scary. I am. I am not feeling, but uh, in in my my in bus in the bus. In the bus, you were on the bus. Yes. Oh, so you didn't no, feel it. I, I'm not feeling. Oh my God! I was I was eating, and I felt it, and it was really long and strong, it was really strong, right? I don't know, but it was scary, it was super scary. And I don't, I, yeah, I think the signal, also I think the signal, it's bad because of that. We don't have a lot of signals. Can you hear me? No me está cargando el Inter. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. I, I think something with my internet connection is bad today. Maybe it's because of the earthquake. No, I'm, I'm going to say this in Spanish. No sé si les pasó que después de lo del temblor, este, como que las líneas se cayeron, las de los teléfonos, y no, no, se, no salían ni entraban llamadas. Sí, sí, yo intenté hacer y no, no, no entró. Ok, so I think the same happened with my internet. Creo que lo mismo pasó con mi internet porque ha quedado como que se está cayendo y está volviendo. Mm -hmm. that... yes. yes, ok, anyways, but thank you very much for being here. I'm happy because nothing happened to you. I know it was a bad earthquake, but I'm happy that you're here and I'm, and I'm happy that, you, that everything is ok because I know it was a strong, strong earthquake but I'm really happy that you're here in the class with us, okay? So as you know, we didn't have classes yesterday, so I'm sorry because of that, but I had a, 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 an issue, a personal issue, and now I'm here with you again. But thank you very much for understanding uh, that we couldn't have classes yesterday. So you had a long weekend, let's call it that, right? We had a long weekend. Okay, anyways, let's go with the attendance for today. Just give me a moment. Okay. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, Miss. Okay. Denis Enrique Saldaña Claros. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Enrique, I mean, Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Walter Vladimir Martínez Rosa. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez Melgar. 
Yo sería Angelina Ramírez Melgar. Present. Kenny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, Miss. Buen, I mean, Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. María Julia Ramos Olívar. Present, Miss. María Julia, siempre que, siempre que le paso lista me acuerdo de que tengo que pagar. <risa> Uy, cara de pago, me ve. No, no, pero no, es un buen recordatorio porque el mes pasado, cabal, ¿verdad? Pagué y este mes pero... me volví a ver la fecha rapidito y me quedé, ah, no, todavía tengo tiempo. <risa> Antes de que se termine la otra semana, le mando yes. el recibo. Yes, gracias, thank you, appreciate it, Mari. Ángela <risa> Guadalupe, no, perdón, ya. Yeah. Ángela Guadalupe Hernández Sánchez. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Oh my God, what happened? Ya me afligí, ¿Ya habrá pasado algo? Julia César Aguillón Arevalo. Jennifer Esmeralda Maya Arias. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, Miss. Gerson Alexis Funes Sosa. Tiene que ver con actitud de clase. Omar Seth Galicia López. I'm here, Miss. Okay. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Present, Miss. Ok. I don't know. Faltan bastantes. I'm going to send you a message in the WhatsApp group. Let's see. Aquí dicen que estarán como oyentes, pero de algunos no veo los nombres. Voy a ver las fotos. Esta foto es de Johnny, creo, con la esposa. Entonces, Johnny. I remember uh, Lelia no here. ¿Who? Lelia no, no here. ¿Clelia? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, Clelia is not in this group. Uh -huh. Well, let's see. Sorry. Ramiro is a listener. Johnny is a listener. Dennis no se va a conectar. Ok, solo ellos. I'm going to send them the message. Hello. I hope everyone, everything is okay after the earth. I hope you can connect to the class. We are ready and waiting for you. Okay, ahí estamos. Perfect. So, as I was saying before, so we're going to continue because yesterday we didn't have classes and I'm sorry because of that, but I appreciate that you understand, okay? So we were uh, in the platform and I want to ask you the question, have you been working in the platform? Have you been working in the platform? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay. I have been working. Okay. So I'm asking you because you know that we have to be working there saben que tenemos que estar trabajando in the platform and that is very important because what is happening dice que tengo malo mi hora y mi ¿qué? oh my god y dime un segundo que no me deje entrar a internet porque dice que tengo mala la hora y mi uso horario tiene que cambiarle la, la, la fecha el uso Cambio horario la... creo que es no, cámbiale la fecha, ahí donde le aparece la fecha de le... a los que están en sistemas ahí, este y ahí sí. le cambia la fecha. Me dice que parezco como que estoy en Bruselas, Copenhague, Madrid y París. Oh. Oh. Ay, para mí, por sí. eso no, no vino ayer. Lo había <ríe> Imagínese <ríe> dónde estoy, oh, my God. ¿Cuál es el uso horario de El Salvador? Vamos a ver. Centroamérica, creo. Centroamérica tendría que decir también. Ah, o México. Aquí dice Salvador, pero Salvador no es Salvador. Salvador, yo creo que es 
Otra Brasil. es por es Brasil. Brasil, El Salvador, Montevideo, sitio Buenos Aires, Georgetown, la India, Bogotá, Guadalajara, México, Montevideo. El GMT6. GMT6 es. Uh -huh. 06, o sea, 0600. Mire si le sale ahí. Sí, sale 0600, pero no aparece solo en La Paz, Mazatlán, Arizona, Pacific Time, Coordinated Universal, Baja California, Hawaii, International Light West. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué no aparecen estas cosas? Give me a second. Voy a poner el de México, ustedes a ver si me acepta. Porque aparece UTC 0600, así como dice Ramiro. Tal vez. Pero entonces me parece como que fueran las 12 y cuarto, dice aquí. ¡Ah! ¡Qué estrés! ¡My God! ¡What is happening! Control panel, Miss. Control pan, en control panel la puede cambiar. Déjame, ahorita la voy a cambiar manualmente porque entonces con uso horario no me aparece. ¿Qué hora son? ¿Qué time es esto? Uh, 20, 20 y 16, 8 y 16. Okay. En El Salvador, Miss. <ríe> 8 y 16 pm, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Pruebe esa, Miss? No, que le dé control panel y allí sí cambia la fecha. Mira, les voy a enseñar. Les voy a enseñar a compartir pantalla. Les voy a dar. Cuando comparto pantalla aquí, me avisan. Pueden ver mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando sí, quiero entrar al de inglés corporativo, Miren, me parece esto. Me va a decir que ahora sí me va a cargar, ahora que ustedes están viendo. Me va a dejar en vergüenza. No, pero no carga. Aunque la, aunque la fecha se le ve bien, porque dice 18 del sí, 07. Porque la acabo de cambiar. Ajá. Ahorita ya debería de dejarle entrar. ¿Saben qué? Voy a abrir eso de un documento de Drive para no estarme complicando la vida. Ahí tengo sus libros. Es que no me complico la vida. Ok, TV, Teachers Manual, Prestar Manual del Docente, ¿qué me hace? I don't know what it's happening. Something weird today. So, manuals. Ustedes son intermediate. Students books. Ustedes son el intermediate. Tú, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Intermediate Students Book Level 2 Okay, I think this is the one Okay, we're ready, we're good Thank, thank you for waiting, thank you, I know that But I, we, I don't know It was weird, some problems here Technical issues, okay So anyways Uh, we were practicing in the last class some vocabulary and we were talking about some new products, right? And we were talking about product line. Remember that topic about product line? Do you remember what is product line? I don't remember. Yes, means... What is product line? Extensión de línea. Correct. So can you give me an example of product line? Mm. Eh, Toyota Prado o Toyota Corolla. Exactly, exactly. Good job. Thank you, Javier. So, of course, a product and a brand is the name of a brand in general. For example, let's call it Toyota, right? But in Toyota, we have different lines. For example, we have Prado, we have Corolla, we have, um, what else? Hilux. Hilux is Toyota. Yeah, right. I look. Yeah. Um, uh, we have different kinds of Toyotas, right? For example, with Nissan, with Nissan we have Roach, we have uh, Sentra, we have Versa, 
right? All those lines are product lines, of course. For example, with Honda, Honda has cars, but Honda also has motorcycles, right? So they are two different product lines, cars, motorcycles, and they have different lines in each case. So let's see this vocabulary or this conversation here. In this part, we were talking about that, right? We were talking about the product line and different product types of product lines. Now, we have here uh, the conversation because we practice this conversation, right? And we were talking about the present perfect. And the present perfect, we obviously use it to talk about uh, experiences. And we use have as an auxiliary. And we also did like, a, a, we did the rules. Do you remember that we did the rules and I explained affirmative, negative questions and short answers. Do you remember that? Yeah? So, so. So, so. Okay, so I was explaining that in the present perfect, let's do a review in this moment. In the present perfect, we have I have, I have traveled, I have traveled to USA, right? I have traveled to the USA, let's call here, to the, wait a minute, to the USA before. Now, in this case, I'm talking about an activity that happened in the past, but still has an effect in the present because I'm talking about an experience. If you want to translate this into Spanish and you want to say, yo he viajado a Estados Unidos, right? Something like that. I have traveled to USA before. Now, uh, the most important here is that you, you need to understand that we use subject, have, or has, depending on the subject. And then we use the verb, but the verb that we use is in the past participle, right? The past participle. The past participle of the regular verbs is just the verb with ed, right? Like in this case, this is the past participle of the uh, regular verbs. The difference is when you have irregular verbs. Do you remember what are irregular verbs? Mm, no me. Okay, so we have two types of verbs: the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. Yes. Regular verbs in the present is work, work, only ed at the end, right? But the irregular verbs, they have a different form. For example, let me. They cheat. When? What is it? Go in present went the past. Oh. In the past participle, gone, right? So it's go, went, and gone. Good example, Ana Veronica. Yes, that's true. So we have go, that is an irregular verb. In the affirmative, or the, I mean the base form is go. The past, went. And the past participle, gone, okay? So that's what you have to pay attention to. I'm gonna show you a list. So this is a list, for example, this one. Let's see it right here. Okay, so we have the base form, we have the past simple, and we have the past participle. Right now that we are paying attention to the um, present perfect, we're gonna be using this form, past participle. For example, begin. Do you know the meaning of begin? Empezar. Iniciar. Comenzar, yes, comenzar. Okay, so begin, begun, begun. Si yo quiero decir yo he iniciado o yo he comenzado una o algo, entonces yo voy a decir I have, y utilizo the third line, and I'm going to use the third line. I have begun. You see? So that's the form we're going to be using, the third form. The third form. This is this one, right? For example, let's look at another one that is break. What is break? Eh, quebrar. Romper. Quebrar. Quebrar. Okay. O romper. Sí, quebrar. Break. Now, the past is broke, but the past participle is 
broken. You see? Broken. Right. So what I have to pay attention to is to the third line. Broken. So if I want to say yo he quebrado un vaso, I have I can say I have and then broken. the third line broken. I have broken a glass. Okay, or a cup. I have broken a glass or a cup. So that is the past participle that we're looking there, right? Now, let's see another one. Deal. Now, you are going to find a lot of these verbs that the same form they have in the past is the same past participle. Look, build, built, built. The same thing. For example, with buy. Buy in the past is bought. And in the past participle, bought, right? The same with catch. Catch, caught, caught. Choose, chose, chosen. Come, look at this one. This is very interesting. Come, the past is came, and the past participle is come again. You see? The same present is the past. But this one is, is different. Then we have this one in regular. You see? Cost, 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 cut, 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 dig, dog, dog. Do, do, do. This is a very common one. What is do? Do you know the meaning of do? Hacer. Okay, yes, so did is the past, but the past participle is done, right? Done. So if I want to say yo or tú, let's call it tú. Tú has hecho algo malo. Tú has hecho algo malo. You have done hecho, right? Hecho. Would you have done? something bad, right? And in this case will be correct. Now, if I wanna say she in the third person, she, right? What is the difference with she? What am I gonna use? She? What is the difference here? She? Us. Us. she has done some something bad. Okay. The only thing that changes is the has, right? That is the only thing we have different there. Okay. Now let's go and look for another one. Drink. You see? Drink. Drink. Drunk. And then the past participle is drunk. Okay, drunk. This is another very common verb. Eat. Eat. Again. If I wanted to say, yo he comido pizza antes, yo he. Yo he comido pizza. So it will be? I have, I have a question. Well, uh, um, I have. Eating pizza before, right? I have eaten pizza before. And we're paying attention to this part right here. Okay. So, I'm going to turn off my camera just because I think my internet is bad. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? I see. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what is happening, but my internet is really bad. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Since the earthquake, that the temblor, que el internet bien feo, como intermitente, like viene va, viene va, something like that. So I hope that I can finish the class. Verdad, espero terminando la clase, because it's it's really bad. It's I don't I don't understand. I Eric Reyes le había quedado. Oh, era el host. He was the host. Okay. Yo no sé si ustedes le tienen o la, o la eh, señal no. de, de, de sus teléfonos o el del internet. Sí, yo, yo sí vi cuando decía ahí, Eric Reyes tiene el host. Ok. Cuidado. 
No entiendo. Sandra, Sandra tiene que ir a Okay. Anyways. Okay. So, but I was explaining the present perfect. Did you understand? ¿Entendimos? Yeah? Yes, of yes, course. Yes, I... Well, so I was explaining that we use the auxiliaries and we use the third form of the verb, right? So, using that, that we have learned right now, we're going to go here. Ah, uh, que internet más lento. My goodness. Can you see my screen? No, miss. Can you see it now? Teacher. Yeah? Okay. Teacher, uh, I, I have a one question. A question? Okay. A question. Uh, when we when we when we say uh, past participle, we all we always. Uh huh. We always. Ah, el internet más lento. 